and you. <laughs> See me working for more. Kisses of fire, sickening, burning. I'm a fight of no returning. Kisses of fire, sweet devotion. I'm in a landslide of emotion. Nothing compared to this. Yeah. Kisses of fire. What to wear tomorrow? Kisses of fire. Burning, burning. I'm at a point of no returning. Kisses of fire. Sweet devotion. I don't know landslide of. Emotion. Oh, yeah. Inside of a house that tubes on What song is this? I gotta watch Mulan again. <laughs> I mean, it's such like a happy dance movie right now. But I have a lot I wanna talk about, so. Oh yeah. Metallica, maybe. Where to movie scene in your sweetest dream? Second face of us together. And I'm sending gifts on my fingertips. I'm saying it's been better. But I ever thought it could possibly be your precious this passion that's setting me free. The moment of madness, the tears that I cried. I have it all of my life waiting for tonight. Oh. In my arms, waiting for tonight. Oh. For so long, waiting for tonight. Oh. Oh. <laughs> The song. The first singing in the dead of night. Take your broken rings and learn to fly. Oh God. The cha-cha slide is so fun to dance to. Let's see. I know what I'm gonna wear. Well, you can say it by the way I lose my room when I'm a lonely man. No time to talk. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to Coffee Note with KB. So, this is a time to get comfy. This is a time to get cozy. I am in like, my, one of my favorite tank tops and my favorite pink shorts. And I have a lot to say. So, I also have my favorite drink, which is like a protein dark chocolate plant-based drink. So, 
last night I went to bed at like 9 p.m. I don't ever go to bed that early but I was feeling so tired my like my eyes were hurting and so I was like I need to go to bed and I fell asleep so quickly and then I woke up at 11 p.m. and I was like kind of awake and I messaged my favorite friend and then I went bed, back to bed around I mean, yeah and then I went to sleep <laughs> until like 3 a.m. or something and I stayed asleep this whole time and then I went back to bed and it was so nice to get all that sleep and I don't ever sleep that much but I did I'm really thankful that I was that I can that I know my body you know and I know that my body needed that um also today I was really thankful for my work and my job I love being a teacher and I was gonna post this on threads I was like you know I'm just gonna put I'm just gonna upload a long KD video so I had two times three times two times where I was just no three times actually that was just like with one of my favorite kids and I was just like there for them when they needed me so early in the morning one of my kids their mom left and they were really sad and I just picked them up he put his head on my shoulder and he cried and I just held him and it was perfect and it was like 8 a.m and it was like perfect and oh, I love doing that with them it just is so it's me and I love I love being there for the kids and then during work time um one of my girls came up to me and I could tell like she wasn't crying and I just but I could tell she needed something and so I just well, got down on her level I always get down on my kids levels because they're they need us and if I'm like what do you need and they're like you know two and a half year old um they you need to like get on the level and really just listen you need to listen to them and so what I did was I got down on her level and she fell into my arms and we just hugged. No words, just hug. And all I said was, if you need me, I will, I'm here to listen. Nothing else. And after a while, the hug was done. And I had told her, I was like, that hug was really great and I really needed that hug. And she was okay. And sometimes you just need a hug. And I just love hugging them. I love being their teacher. I had so much fun outside <laughs> with the kids. And just like, uh, I love being a teacher. It can be really hard, but it's really rewarding. It's really rewarding. So at nap time, I was just laying with a kid and I was rubbing their back. And I had, you know, my legs were showing like this. My arms were showing. I had my dress on, shorts, and my um, sandals. And I was just like sitting like, like doing this. I was rubbing my leg and I was like, wow my legs are beautiful like i don't show my legs very much um i used to not want to wear a shorts because to be honest i didn't like my legs i thought this is honesty i thought they're ugly and i was afraid to show my legs and so i wore like these capris capri pants and even in like disneyland when it's like i don't know in california i still wore these capri pants i have a picture of me with them and I didn't like, like what my legs looked like. I didn't want to show them. And so I wore those pants. And now I show them and I wear shorts. And I'm so proud of myself. And so I was just like feeling my leg. And I'm like, wow, this leg, this knee is beautiful. And on like on my knee, I have this like little rough spot. And I was like feeling it. And I was like, wow, this is different. than I, I was like really getting into my the feeling of my legs. <laughs> It sounds silly, but it was. And I was just like, wow, this little rough spot is different than this. And I was just like, there's so many different feelings of my legs and it's beautiful. And like, I was really appreciative of them. And I was like looking at my moles and my freckles and I felt like I have a black and blue look on this leg. Um, and something, I don't know if you know, but uh, a long time ago, I was in the kitchen making dinner one time and I had fallen, like my knee collapsed. Oh, it was so scary. Ooh, I did not like it and so like when that happens when I get like a Charlie horse I get really tied up and I just like with like especially when Ben like if he like does something with my legs or like you know we're being silly and like touches them I get really intense about that because that thing was scary 
and I don't want that to happen again. And so I'm really like, protective of my legs. I really am. Um, and when they hurt, I get really like cautious and I'm really like careful with them with my, with my knees. Um, and that made me like today, I thought of that and it made me really, really appreciate my legs more. Cause if you've had trolley horses, it sucks. <laughs> Especially if you wake up to them. And like the thing that happened, I don't even know which leg it was, but it was really scary and I cried and I yelled. Like I was making dinner and my family was on the other room and I fell down to the ground, screamed and cried. And it was, it was really scary. And so, yeah, I'm really protective of my legs and I don't want, I need, like I need people to be protective of them. Like that sounds, no. I need them to be protected of them because I'm not gonna have, I, yeah. I'm really in, I get really uh, cautious, I'll say, with pain with like my legs. My legs, that's just what I am. Because I don't know the whole story, but my mom said when I was born, they didn't think I was gonna walk. And now here I am, which is kind of like a miracle. Um. So yeah. I love my body and you should love your body too because it's amazing. I'm just like, as I'm like filming here, I'm just feeling them and they're beautiful. Also after work, I stayed a while and talked to my favorite friend at Starbucks because I could, actually the sun was too bright and I couldn't see anything. I'm like, you know, I just want to sit there and talk to him. And I had the biggest smile on my face the whole time. And I just like, I don't have, I've never had someone in my life like that, that like, is that, is there for me and is like so positive and so caring. And it's just like there for me and it really means a lot to me. So I was, I literally could not stop smiling the whole time. Um, and I'm just, I have stuff to say about that and I will <laughs> uh, and then I'm just like nature is beautiful and if you go on a nature walk with me ever I'm taking pictures of flowers because I love flowers and I just bought the, the cutest earrings today on um, Etsy I'm so excited for those um, but someone who is just like there for you and is like a special part of your life and you know, like, you know that whatever happens in life, this person will always be there for you, right? You don't have to worry about them not being in your life. Them not being there for you because you know they always will be. And there's something special about a friendship that you, that like you call a relationship, not a friendship, if that makes sense. Um... And I don't deserve that friendship. I'm sorry, but I don't. It's too perfect. And it's just too, it's too perfect. It really is. And it's just me being Katie. And I feel like, I feel like I'm too, <laughs> I feel like it's, I don't even have words like it's just it's what I need right now more than I ever know because for me I share my emotions a lot more and I need someone there that I can go to and just express my emotions and like I know that my emotions are being listened to I know I'm being seen and I've never felt that need before I never felt that need to like be seen be heard to have someone express my emotions like I do now and it's like a big part of my life for me because when I need that I need it you know and there are times when I do need that and I feel like a little I feel like last night I kind of was a little what's the word a little over the top with the message I sent um, and 
this morning I had a comment. I'm not kidding you at all. I had a comment from someone and 60% of me wanted to delete my last video because of that comment because it was I'm not going to talk about it much, but I, I was like, okay, I just need to delete this comment. And I thought, okay, when I make those videos, people are just like being unkind about that. And it really got to me. But then I got some of the sweetest comments and William, I don't know you, William, but like every comment you post, no matter my video, is the sweetest comment. And I really appreciate you, friend. So thank you. Um, I feel like you're one of the, besides my favorite friend, but like, I feel like you're one of the guys on my com on my videos on my comments that don't express how hot I look or like stuff on my body you just comment about like what I'm talking about and love and awesomeness <laughs> and I really appreciate that William so I I I appreciate you so thank you um I also miss the comments that Mark used to comment on my hair I'm just like stroking my hair um because I miss the old people that used to comment on my videos. But I really appreciate the new people. And they mean a lot. They mean a lot. So thank you, William. Yeah, William and my favorite friend are the two guys on my videos that like I really, really appreciate for listening and hearing what I'm talking about. And I see that in the comments. And I really appreciate that. So this morning, every morning, I hear a bird, and I don't know what kind of bird this is, but every morning I hear it, and I'm hearing it now, and it's just like so calming, and so I laid in bed this morning, and just like listened to the birds, <laughs> and my window was open, and it was really beautiful because before the sun was up, before the birds were even up, I was up, and it was completely dark. And... When a few minutes later, the sun came up and the birds were awake and it was like nature. I was awake before nature was. And then they appeared and it was, it was like the birds were singing and saying, it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. And it was a good day. I listened to the song from Michael Fronte and the Spearheads. I don't know if you know his music. Um and it is called today is gonna be a good day i think um no it's a good day to have a good day let's see <laughs> michael fronte and the spearheads Good, good day for a good day. And so I was listening to the song this morning while walking to work. And I was like, you're, you're speaking my language, Michael. <laughs> I was like, you're right. It is a good day to have a good day. And then later I posted a thread about, I've been posting more photos on threads about flowers because flowers are just beautiful. And then like 10 minutes later, I saw my favorite friend and he had posted the exact same like different post, but like the same quote <laughs> and different flowers. And I was like, wait, we're connected. And like, it was so cool. Um, it's so cool. And I also was really appreciative, <laughs> which is my son. So, like, so I was at like the end of my shift and he was messaging me and I was like, those like little things were like, they're just like send over like it was the smallest thing he was like just messaging me um and like that he has trust and he has like like he can just like message me whatever he wants and like it's i feel special because of that and i feel like we're connected in a different way than anyone else is connected with us and like we have a special bond i don't know what that bond is but we have a special bond we have a special relationship and it's not just like friendship it's something more and I don't know what that is, but I feel like it's something more that I've never had before with someone. And I feel really blessed to have that. 
I've been thinking of posting more on my Confident with Katie Instagram page. I think I'll start posting because I had some people on there that I didn't really, and I just need to be myself, but that I didn't feel comfortable posting about. So I'm still thinking if I want to keep it private. Um, I haven't been on that page in like forever, so I'll get back on it. Um, I've just been like on my main page, which is awesome too, but I want to post more reels. So I'll be doing that, um, sometime soon. I'm just like bath, baffled <laughs> and amazed at how I'm doing with YouTube. I cannot get over it and I will never stop being amazed at my numbers, um, at how I'm doing. And my favorite friend made this voice memo. I will never stop listening to it. And it makes me, I think of it every time I make my YouTube videos. And it makes me appreciate my videos and my content so much more. Um, so much more. I love voice memos. So if the ones on Instagram you can't save on your phone, I wish you could. But that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. As I'm making this video, I'm looking outside and it's still light out and the sun's going down and it's, nature is beautiful. Anyone wanna go on a nature walk with me? I would totally do that. <laughs> um, I am just like, I'm really thankful for myself. I am really thankful for the kids I work with. And I would so much rather be called Katie than friend. I know I have lots of friends and I love that, but I love being called Katie so much more. It just feels so much more. I, I love seeing the name Katie. It means a lot to me. And I'd much rather be called that than anything else. Much rather than, I actually, okay. To be honest, I don't like being called friend very much. And I'd rather be called Katie. <laughs> um, that's just my preference. And that's just who I am. I'm Katie. I'm also a friend, but I am Katie. Um, yeah. I definitely feel like I'm getting more confident in public. I have to say I feel like I'm like dancing more and like not being as nervous around people which I do get a lot but I feel like I'm being less nervous around people and being more myself I wish I could be more myself around my family but that's really hard for me it's always been hard for me even with my sister who I like super close with um also like facetiming with your favorite friend is probably the best thing ever and I love that so much. I know it can't happen much, but like, I don't need to say anything. I just need to like see him and like talk. Like, I feel like we just, I'm in a loss of words, but I love that. And I know it can't happen very much, but when it happens, I get all like butterflies and like all smiley and it's my favorite thing. So I hope, see, this is going to be a long Katie video, but I love it. Thank you all, thank you all, thank you all. I wouldn't be making these videos if it wasn't for you, so I really appreciate you. And Katie, you're amazing and beautiful and perfect. And thank you, you know who you are. Thank you for those little check-ins. Thank you for like spamming me with messages. I love that so much. Thank you for being you. You're phenomenal. And you should go listen to Positive Threads Only Podcast because it's a new episode and it's phenomenal. He's phenomenal and it needs more love. It needs more love. So I will see you all tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful day in Seattle and I have lots of flower pictures on my phone that I want to post, which might do that tonight actually. But I'll see you all tomorrow, tomorrow in a new video and... Thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, liking. You're all awesome. And you're be and don't forget that you're beautiful, amazing, and perfect. And I'll see you all tomorrow.